Since I was a kid, I wanted to be a storyteller. And all of a sudden with photography, I can, I can really tell a story of somebody that is alive or somebody that I imagined or, or, or anybody. A portrait, people can approach and look at them and analyze every little thing. The earrings, the makeup, the hat, the mustache, and that's something that we unfortunately don't do in the street because it's very intrusive. Here, you have the opportunity to look and to analyze and hopefully the images will talk to you. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. One more. We are at St. Mary's Church in downtown St. Paul, and we're going to photograph three sets of war veterans. It's looking good. What happened to you here? Hmm? You got a little crazy with the racer? I don't know. <laughs> I must have. <laughs> post number five is a military post that is based in the west side in St. Paul. The purpose of this project, what I want to do is print this material and go and knock on the door of the Historical Society and I can give this package to them so it's there for future, future generations. Are you okay there? Mm -hmm. What I like about portraiture is the contact with, with the people. So I can approach them and I can talk to them and I can learn a lot. And the main part of this is to understand. I made it a point that our job was to gather, preserve, and share the history. For younger people and people not involved or have been in the military, sometimes it's hard for them to understand the sacrifices. So I, that's why I think it's important for people to acknowledge when they see a veteran and be respectful of the flag. The way I photograph has evolved. If I was in Mexico, I would be photographing completely different things. All of a sudden, I'm in Minnesota, and that got me to think a little bit about who I am here. And I turned my, my lens to, to my community. <laughs> The show Calle Lake is a series of portraits that I took on Lake Street. I was there for a couple days, the Latino Independence Day and the Mexican Independence Day. It's just me with a tripod and a camera running up and down the, the street uh, looking for interesting people. And it's not hard to find them. By no means I try to describe the Latino community when I photograph. I really go and photograph people who I think they have something to say and, and they have such a character that they can tell a story by just standing in front of the camera. Me and my wife, Tina Tavera, were lucky enough to get a grant from the State Arts Board to do El Circo. And El Circo is composed, for my part, of a series of portraits. And uh, instead of going out in the street or going to somebody's home to photograph them, I invited people to share with me what would they be if they would be in a circus. And this time, I, I build the sets and I send the backdrops to be made and I put everything together and, and I make a series of circus people. I've been following the circus for quite a while. 
since I was a kid. This is a new set of prints that I've been working. Completely different set of portraits that I've been doing for the past six months. And what I'm doing here is taking very close-ups of different uh, Minnesota artists, and I'm printing them in a technique called photolithography. And it's a laborious process I'm printing this. Uh, yeah, very different from everything that I've shot before. I'm really trying to push the, my subject to get something out of them that is buried in, inside of them. And it's an expression. Sometimes it's grotesque, sometimes it's funny, sometimes it's playful. And I've been having a lot of fun doing this new set of, of prints. I don't know what keeps me going. I know that there is something that now is physical, that if I'm not photographing or looking for an image, I start to feel like anxious. There's a pleasure in this. When I have the camera in a tripod and where I'm looking at somebody, and when I look through the viewer and I say, yes, this is it, this is it. Maybe that's what keeps me going. Minnesota Original is made possible by the State Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.